zozibala maduzani nje. Sino tisha aba netulela izi fundo zika grade 12, zonke izi nzugu, kusuga langu msombluko kuzigube iso ndo. Zichoko zelea nile zi fundo, nistumelele imbuzo lapo ntinga kona usizo. Nyabingelele ngenta mbama ya namsanje, nyabingelele aba fundi betu abase, aba fundi wete spatanda yo, sibingelele bala leli bonke, bese sibingelele lo abo bonke nko saba sipe itu balo guti sikuazu guti sikumane naba fundi betu, benze this program ibe possible uza sikuazu guti asiste abandwa na betu. Yes, we are talking to Mrs. Mbambo, maritime economics teacher from Pedugani High School. Uh, I'm here. Ugu tisi zosiza na nabandwana, preparing nabandwana with the examination. We know that 2020 was not a good year for all of us. We had a lot of challenges. And abandwana be tuge, they did not get that amount of the final by tolu guti ba funde gathe, ba prepare gathe, ba pege gathe for the final exam. But we thank the Department of Education and all the sponsors for giving us this opportunity which is was which is about prepare Rabandwana who was about to show the best results at the end of the end of the at the end of the year. Okay? So Joba Nishu Gutige and Mrs. Babu Nyafundisa La Panagi Maritime Economics. Then what we're going to do now, we're not going to start by teaching the curriculum or by teaching the whole content for grade 12. So now it's the time of checking why, how the learners must go about answering the questions. Which questions are popular? Which questions are so that they can collect lots of marks? So we're going to look at those things which is prepared with my exam room. They are going to have ama problems or ama challenges in answering the questions. Right. We know Lago Maritime Economics, which our question paper or our curriculum is divided into four main topics. We're having the first topic, that is the maritime world. Topic number two, we're having the shipping operations. Topic number three, we're having the international trade. And then topic number five, we're having the environmental challenges. So when you look at the structure of the question paper, the structure of the question paper, it's also divided according to the topics that I've just mentioned. Question one, it's a compulsory question. Question two, it's also compulsory three, four, and five. We don't have an option or a choice. So it means when you are going for an exam, we are going for in game for you are going to an exam room. We are writing this paper. Go there, well prepared was which you are supposed to give your all. You are supposed to answer all these questions. And the funda wasan, aguko zokshia, aguko zokbega nga pal tutenage ay langzo yegel. So when you look at question one, it's a compulsory question, multiple choice with 60 marks. Question two, maritime world with 50 marks. Question three, shipping operations 100 marks. Question four, international trade 70 marks. Question five, environmental challenges 20 marks. What I usually tell my learners, Nyagiti, question five and question two, that is where you must get or take all those marks, whether you like it or not, Yensa Shogut, you get full marks lab. See we multiple choice, Yensa Shogut, you get above 40 marks. Because Lauma questions, especially question two no question five, Usoeng nama low order questions amaningi. And the iwona nama maksamaningi. If you can get u60, u lama questions amabili, question 2 and question 5. Then besu tola u40 maksi la pana u question 1, u multiple choice. Then, usu na u level 2, usu pasile mfund. But I'm going to give you how to go about answering these questions and upe aganjan, upe ndula aganjan. All right. Then let us focus or let us start with the maritime world. Maritime world, 
it's question two. We're not going to do for now question one, that is the multiple choice. We're going to do the maritime world. Right. Then when we look at the maritime world, maritime world, we're talking about the propulsion or we're talking about propellers. We have different types of propellers that we're talking about. They were using a different vessel, a different ship, and those vessels were having ama sails or sasiwabis would ama sails, ships or sails vessels. And those vessels they were depending on Guma currents, Nama winds, so that they can sail. There were no engines in those vessels. That is why Oyan van Ripik Besuga, Laba Besuga, Konabe, Cape Town, but had a long days to arrive at Cape Town because the, that type of a vessel, it depended on cool Guma currents and sails. So a vessel can take any direction. Depending on which year, um, could be a little scam, I'm a wind, I'm a current, I'm a little scat, so a hambang, a YPE direction. All right. So the first type of ama, you know, like a e vessel or ama, ama systems that we had, one ama sales. And ama sales, I enjoy, I yet depend on my winds and currents so that they can save. Okay. All right. So if you're looking at ama sales, as the advantages and disadvantages of sales. Oguti, what was good about those sales during those days? What was bad about AMA sales? Then, because we are going to get equation as a booze. Equation as a booze and shooty. AMA sales for a AMA sales, I had depended on booze. I was a mafia sales lang, a mass sales booze. I was with the Amo Vega, the Ahande, or one I depended on. Then, as one fund to see as good, I had depended on my wins, Ganyanani, Nagma Karens, also told you two marks lab. And I always made tell Amadena's Amo, which two marks are who she will marry time. Mobile or two marks will make a great difference at the end, mass of total issue. So, also as good AMA sales, one I depend on him. Guma wins, okay? Nagma currents was a hand. What was the advantage of these sales? One the advantage, there were not polluting the, the, the ocean. They were not polluting the air, okay? What are the disadvantages? I'm at disadvantages. They were taking more days. Oti they arrive with destination now. Another disadvantage yin uguti ayenida more labor. Ugu sex of was kutum kumbi mausu hamba, usu tutula ama we ama currents nama wins, then gube kona inige imen power e enough. So aso song is kati, yes ama advantages for each and every type of inige of the propulsion system that is used. So before wagu eko i propulsion. Wagwama sales, you wanna ayayenza imkumbuti umove. Alright. Then wa move. Wa you wagu pim, wa you waguma steam engines. Then ama steam engines, they gamalia zisho steam. So these steam engines were different now from kupi, from kuma sales last palegwon. Okay? Different in terms of his speed, different in terms of his structure sour. So, by improving by Aguma steam engines. But again, these steam engines had ama advantages and also disadvantages. As um fundi food, fanel was ama disadvantages and advantages of ama steam engines. Right. So when you look at the advantage of steam engines, ama steam engines one, I have fast, okay? I figure a uh, very fast with destination now. Number two, our depend on human winds and currents. But what are the disadvantages? I'm at disadvantages are called more manpower it's needed so that person look be faga amala the gupi la pakma to keep ama boilers burning is that here who was so was with the hand the engine it do me engine and then oh hand the umkum. Number two, the steam that is coming out from Kumagui Final, 
was also polluting the air. There was a lot of air pollution during the times of any of Amastim engines. Number three, there was no space, no space for e cargo because they must have coal on board. This coal is used for bunkering, for loading. Oguzei so was with the steam engine, it could be a function here properly. So, they were having less space to load their cargo, more space for coal. That is another disadvantage. Another disadvantage, that is, more workers were also needed. Abazo look load at this coal. So, each and every type of vessel, yeah, in our advantages and disadvantages. And uh, today we're talking of our modern ships with our motor ships, okay? They are also different, but they are also having the disadvantages and the advantages. So, as umfundi, when you look at any ama vessels, you look at ama engines, when you look at any ama propellers, or a propulsion, know the advantages and the disadvantages. All right. Then I'm going to look at my previous question papers, and then so that you can see what these type of questions they are frequently asked. And finally, Utma Ungena exam room, Ubu was what? How are you going to answer these questions? Right. Then when we look at e paper Liga 2017. Trial exam, a e e preparatory exam, 2017. Okay? Then, now you have to see types of AMA engines. You have to see types of AMA fuels. Right. Then, si you have to see the line of paper, you have to see the line of 2019. Final examination. 2019 final examination. Right. A corner equation la etini. Give the best form of propulsion. You have to choose magnesia ama azipods, magnesia ama conventional propellers, multi-directional propulsion or dynamic positioning system or wind propulsion. Wind propulsion. I said a wind propulsion was used by AMA sails. Mawuz and she a wind propulsion is used with Beitila AMA sail ships or AMA sails vessels. Because we said when a baby depends on the wind and the current currents will be used with the AMA vessels. Right. So, the question here is to learn it in. Give the best form. So, we are giving these options to AMA as a port. Ama conventional propellers, ama multi-directional propulsion, ama dynamic positioning systems, nama wind propulsion. For the following vessels, see as guti imi ama vessels, they use ama propel, ama propulsions, ama propellers, anga fan. Because of ini, because of in the la akiwe ngayo, if you can look at ITAC vessel or ITAC boat, ITAC boat use a particular propulsion. Is that here? If you look at e e e e lonage e e e sail or e vessel lang ama sails, then they are using ama wind propulsion. Is that here? Then, if question your palaitin again, a hub tag, a hub tag is seven zisa. Which type of e propulsion? Which form of e propulsion? And we know what must cool man e harpa tag, e harpa tag, si cool man adi, nama tag vessels, ama tag vessels that are used at the port, at the harpa, to assist the vessel when the vessel is about to bath, or when the vessel is coming out from the bathing place, si a puma we port, is a sail, then is a towa yidige, by these tug vessels. And ama tug vessels, there were seven is a full team. When we're salvaging a vessel, we want to tow a vessel that is in imminent danger. Right. So the engine of this vessel, of this tug vessel, 
it's different from ama vessels or amani. And you can look at itak vessel, but this vessel is having a very strong and very powerful engine. As it was, it tore this vessel. As it was, it pulled a vessel, it keep it from the port, if the vessel is about to sail. As it was, the vessel is better in the right place, if you see the figure at the port. Right. So, for example, if we're looking at the hub attack or the tug vessel, the tug vessel uses a multi-directional propulsion. Why do we say uses a multi-directional propulsion? Because it was a good who doesn't come be two different directions. Is that clear? So it uses a multi-directional propulsion. So two marks for choosing that weight or for choosing the correct type of or correct form of a propulsion. Then now we are born a pillar of pain, which, okay, nanka ama vessels and nigeso won. And the assembly is a map, ama forms of propulsion. So, Susan, so, which you also phase are out in the wind propulsion because I yeke kuma basses la panaso go shoot it out. Then Susan so, bear glow manyege assail. Number two, was it to a large deep drafted tank requiring a safe speed of, of around 13 knots? Then what type of a propeller we're going to use there? Then you choose the correct answer, Lapana, that is the conventional propeller. Okay? Then Sekfana lu pega again fundi gut, okay. Nanka ge lama types of propellers. Pega ge pela manj gut. When we are talking about a conventional propeller, enja ni le conventional propeller. And the sesias guti ge e sechen zisu agupi ge in a large, deep, drafted, Tenga, requiring a service speed. Okay? Then we are also having a cruise vessel or a cruise ship, a passenger vessel. Less no benega ngayogi vessel. So this vessel, to an equation, a large cruise ship calling regularly in small harbors and encourages around the Caribbean islands. So when we're talking, encourages all around the Caribbean island. Then when we're talking about e e e e e e e cruise vessel, e cruise vessel says we tell the big lega. I dealing hard again a cargo. So e hambe e man now and again so that abantu baso was good by in session again, babonama attractions in that particular country or in that particular island or wherever. So na lena to every Caribbean sea. And then what type of in again of a propulsion that we're going to use? Kule large cruise ship. Then we're going to use an azipod. Then for the girl from the good guy, he has a pot on a e sebenza ganja ni sezwan. Then we're having a drill ship that must remain in a particular position for a long time. See, I was a drill ship, which what type of a vessel is a drill ship? And then it must remain in a particular position, doing a particular activity for a long time. So, on Joby busy and the good unit it's a drill ship. Then, what type of a propulsion is this vessel it's going to use? Then, it's a seven sister in a dynamic positioning. A dynamic positioning. Right. Then, how's the song in Pega, ama types, no, but you want ama questions also, who's a word again about ama propul, uh, propulsion lag with maritime world. Boo, check, check in again, young game. We check a young e type your propulsion. Job and Sheila at the beginning, which you have to look at the advantages, the disadvantages of each and every type of propulsion. Then, let us go back to inige types of propulsion in Kalenga Kulma Amasins, Nakuluma Nanige or Ama wind propuls ama ama donagama wind propulsions, then sakulma ama steam engines, then mas move a sikubega, then sizo kuluma nani futi, si kulumege ngama diesel engines. Okay? Then ama diesel engines. Then when we're talking about ama diesel engines, ama diesel engines. And ama motor ships, okay? Then these types of inige of ama engines or ama propulsions, they're having the internal combustion.
Internal combustions, they are like motor cars. E-motor, so they're having an internal combustion. And then, these diesel engines, they also make use of the fuel. Like E-motor. E-motor, it's either fuel, it's either diesel, or it's even so petrol, or this is what to come. So now the way I'm a few cells, they use if you will. And if you were to see seven size, could my go to go to go to that is the heavy fuel engine. That is the HFO, heavy fuel engine. This heavy fuel engine, Iona Ayenza, heavy fuel oil, I'm sorry, heavy fuel oil. This heavy fuel oil, Iona Ayenza, which is engineering, it was, which is good, Hambege, it's been sunny, Gatinani, Ganyi, the propeller, Uguze, Umkumbuzo, was, Uguchwense, Jani, Umuve, Uhambe, Uye, Pambil. Without a propulsion, a vessel cannot move. Okay? Upepe la lolo luko na la pana nga pansi go mkumbi. O luna ma blade. Kia tipenda wesin skati propulsi. I propela iba na five blades. Iba na three blades. Iba na five blades. Ende iyona esha yayo. Eye nsu guti amanzi. Asha yege denu mkumbi gebe suya guas guti useil. So we're having this engine. It is an engine oil motor ship. Then again. Mfundi, check our advantages of in the of a diesel engine. Ganye nani ne motor ship. And we are born a pedwit in a motor my hand in quite in. In an in a exhaust. Job in a exhaust. My duba in motor. Kuba na ma fumes. Kuba nani ge ne carbon emission. Is that clear? And then kuba nani ge ne sulfur oxide. E pumayo. Na sem kubi ni na kona same thing applies. Ying ago si kuna se polutega the A. Okay, because kuna lama emissions, kuna lama gases that are coming out. Okay, and they pollute the air. All right, and again during a bunkering, when they are putting in it, this fuel HFO, we pick them la panagui vessel. Kiense kucholwe tia lika or it could take it get this HFO and then to see polluter the ocean and then the marine species are going to be affected. Best to with even the ecosystem ENC Shanige Iba to step Iba affected. That is why you must be extra careful when we are using these vessels to try by all means not to pollute the environment, not to pollute the ocean. Because there are species at the OE, Lapana in the ocean. I think Pila now. And the final lessons are show with the Abanyaban Party Pendagon. We also have Ama Industries, a producer Ama Goods, through Inige, Lazy Luana Si Tola Lapana, and like Ufish, for example. Ma which we keep on polluting the ocean. Then Ufish will die. Ma Shona Ufish get or Befa Ufish, then it means we are going to have a problem to Nagila inland. Ama manufacturers, ama fishing industries, they are going to close down. Then unemployment is a shooter up. So whatever that you are doing, finally see there would in a EP effect in a long run. And then try by all means not to disturb the ecosystem, not to affect any ama marine resources. Ying ago gesiloku would design new new body a new, a new, a new, new propulsion or new types of inige of ee ama propellers. Ugu sese zozama ugu tisi avoid the all sulfur dioxide emissions. Si avoid the nainige no carbon emission. Okay. And then, kwase kuba kona inige the hybrid propulsion system. And again, the hybrid propulsion system was used kuma large ships, very large ships. Okay? And then, they were trying by all means to reduce e exhaust emission. Njoba sebe sen, this are these hybrid propulsion. So, mfund, ni kala ge gut naso sonki skati ma usu ufunda, wensa i revision yako. Lagui propulsion, yensa show gut you get marks, a wui gui exam room. Unga zi ugu ti, what are we talking about? Gui propulsion. Unga nge ni gui exam room. Unga understand ama types of propellers. Na ama effects akona, ama ama donage, ama advantages and disadvantages of each and every form of e propulsion. I hope it says again. Kusa and the job I need show you team. Says he and says he and says he last touch a last time when I go to. I go and I go to the gym. And I go to the common gang. I go to the pepe. 
SSNZL, SSO Apparile, SSO Leguwa, na gui Mary Time. And mausu pendula na we mfundi futi upegu guti uzoskora ama maksama nkagana and uzoskora ama maksama ni njoba nshiru guti. Yensa show guti gui Mary Time World. Ngoba ama questions akona, they are of a low order. Ungene u well prepared. One, gui Mary Time World. Sikulma nge propulsion. I propulsion ge, ya sama types akona. Uwa sama advantages and disadvantages. Okay? Then, again, under the maritime world, Lagu maritime world, we're also having our questions, or we're having a topic, data analysis. Data analysis. Nala Pofutko Siami, it's a straightforward question. Or a straightforward section. La pumfundo fanelo uchoda mamax nea watati jamamax akona because la we data analysis. It's either you get a table or you get a graph, a line graph, or it's a bar graph, a pie chart where you analyze the information. For example, for example, go to an IE graph. Okay, it's a line graph. Kule line graph, bang nige se ini, the number of years, tuwe okay, we're having, u 2020, sibe no 2019, 2017, 2018. Then, besibe nige se quantities of ama vessels. Okay? Then, the question is, obusiti, how many vessels were demolished in 2020? 18. Ongo kwa kumfundu utu tate irula, and then umeche gase, ubo nukutuho in 2018, manga kama vessels that were demolished. Then you just give ini the answer. Usui ashkuti there were 20,000, there were 30,000, or 40,000. By just doing a ama measurements using your ruler. Even if it's a bar graph, a bar graph is a combi, so it changes again. We have this type of ama vessels. We have ama bulk carriers. We have ama cape size. We have in again. We also have e e e e e e don again ama row row for example. Then basic two again. I'll indicate how many bulk carriers were demolished in 2018. Then a graph here combis kuti there is a graph for ama row row. There is a graph for any for ama bulk carriers. There is a graph footy for any for a cape size, for example. Then on waku vegutuge uvula me so ufundi sees equation and then you just measure. Ngogu shoot it's 2019 or 2020. Kwa wu na mabu ama balkeras au 20,000 that were demolished. You just get two marks for that. And two marks it's a lot in fund. Unga utati gangana oba if you lose that two marks. So it means minus two marks. 300 or it's 10 again u 50 marks la. Then segu nangaki u suna 48 u su minus u 2. If you lose another two segu u banige u 46. So make sure wut a uye geli u two marks u ya pendu la sezoan. And u fundi si isi. Then again, the question is, is what do you understand by ship demolishing? What do you understand by ship demolishing? When I'm from the Suya, it's good to demolish a vessel, is to wreck the vessel, it's to destroy the vessel. Okay? If a vessel is no longer seaworthy, if a vessel, I see the in a Okay? Then they're going to wreck it, they're going to demolish it. Okay? Because ama vessels they're having a certain lifespan. And the final answer show with our operator glory lifespan layer. And the sensor show with they are seaworthy. Because if you see Tata E vessel that is no longer seaworthy, then it's going to cause ama problems in the middle of the sea. Ucho would say sting ama vessels, also to a vessel, that is essential, that is stuck in the middle of the sea because it's no longer in good condition. It's no longer seaweed. So, 
Understand that must cool my ship demolishing, which is ship demolishing, it's when we are destroying a vessel. Says here, a wrecker is a rich in a gay, e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e from the above graph, then the indicator this type of a vessel, maybe the indicator in a cape size, cape size vessel. Then the question along the lines of what is a cape size vessel? Then we see a story of food with a cape size vessel. Cape -size vessel. Cape -size vessel. It's a vessel that is too big, too huge, and too wide and too long to transit Kuma canals, that is the Panama Canal, Ganyanani, the Suez Canal. And then it uses in again, the Cape of Good Hope route because it's too huge with it transit Gulama canals. Okay? Too wide. Then also to a little or two marks. Okay? Maybe you question foot is Puma La Babu's Guti. What type of a cargo is carried by a bulk carrier? What type of a cargo can be carried by a bulk carrier? Then we see a show that a bulk carrier can carry in a dry bulk cargo, a loose cargo, such as a coal, such as the iron ore, or other food amount raises that year. Okay? So, as a song is cut, lagui data analysis. You get a graph, different types of different forms of pharma graphs, and then you are supposed to analyze those graphs. If it's not a graph, then you are going to get a, 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 an information, okay? Information. We apply our questions. You do application, gase, gase, la data analysis. But we understand the Ganga Gana and the land. Last six final twenty, you just reproduce information. Are you able now to put this thing into application? So, it data response question or it data analysis. In a mamax foot now, you end it. When's a show good? A wire gaily a mamax lapo. Okay? Questions, Katis, or put me question for the twig. Okay. The e lonage example, la panage back channel, which is a VLCC. If VLCC says, which it's a very large crude carrier. It's a large crude carrier. Then, show no any product that can be transported. By a VLCC. And then we are showing VLCC. E. Dilangani Gakulu, a crude oil. Okay? So, Gatagate La Pana, great data analysis. You have to apply in knowledge that you have acquired. Then, bang nigile e diagram, bang nigile e graph, ngaba ino ma e pin kobo e graph. Then, we know what could you interpret that graph and by answering in it, ama questions about Busa won. Na corner foot, it's so simple and straightforward. Very easy to get ama max bupi kui data response question. I hope I'm clear. Nya tembut ke zwagala ku lokeng sakhazile and nawe ke usuya bona ukuthi fanele umfundi mawuqala nje iphepha lakho mawuphendula lapha wenze show ukuthi uscora more marks uscora more marks lapha ku maritime maritime world njoba ngisho ukuthi i maritime world it's having more marks Okay. All right. Then, Sikubege food, another part of the maritime world. Maskubege is other part of the of maritime world. Sikubege is a propulsion, and a cool man data analysis. Then, Sikubege is a seafarer. Okay. 
See, as good, each and every vessel must have people inside, people who are going to work in. As it is out, I'm a crew members, I'm a seafarers, I'm a seven, I'm a seven, I'm a seven, Right. Then, when I get from the final words, it question if, 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 Major suppliers of seafarers. So you have to give AMA countries that supply AMA seafarers. Because we need these people. Okay? If vessel cannot just go with a captain, Nani, maybe get no chief and no, 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 no chief or old chief or whoever. But there must be a band who are doing different activities in the vessel. We need these people to perform their duties. All right. Then, the major suppliers of seafarers were having a Philippine, were having a China, were having a India, were having a Croatia, were having a Poland, were having a Ukraine. Those are the major suppliers of seafarers. Seafarers, they come from these countries. They are the major suppliers. Now, before, before, Europe was the major supplier of seafarers. But things have changed. In Europe, it's no longer supplying AMA seafarers much because of various reasons. I say my name, my reasons, my name, my reasons, and so we could change a good in Europe, okay? In as a provider, more seafarers. Let's go by it again, these six countries that I've just mentioned. Yeah, yeah, I can go say I'm a good, totally questioning, I show which is just mentioned three countries that are their major suppliers of seafarers. And the six marks, we marry time what I've observed, Mfunduam, who one mark I get, most of the time it's two, Two, two marks. So if they have just asked you to give three countries that are the major suppliers of seafarers, Ubuntu, Tabang, Apel, and Shooting, India, China, Poland. If we see Kotli, Poland, what is Croatia? We see Kotli, Croatia, Croatia, Ukraine, Philippines, also total those six marks. Okay? Then I said before, before e e e e e Europe, okay, Iona e a e supplier ama seafarers, okay. But because of various reasons, it's no longer like that. And now your foot in the question by tanda uti pi ibozem mfund. If you go through ama previous question papers, niya gusalo ngai tali question ibuz about these reasons. And then a corner was the reasons in front, so that you just get low four marks, six marks, or eight marks. Right. Here is in your which why you pretend it's no longer provide Europe, I'm sorry, not to pretend. Why Europe? Because now you pretend it up. Why Europe is no longer providing amaciferas? Number one, more short side carriers are now available. More Shore side carriers are now available. We have lots of carriers ashore now. So people, they prefer to be ashore. No good, but at the end of the sea going carriers. So there are lots of carriers ashore. Okay. Number two. Some people prefer the unemployment benefit ashore. They prefer unemployment benefit ashore. Then, Another reason, the Western shipping companies, the Western shipping companies, or Europe Bank Laba, they decided to sell their vessels. They decided to sell their vessels. So if you don't have a vessel, so it means there is no work. So they decided to sell their vessels. So that is why the seafarers are no longer recruited 
or no longer available in Europe because the Western countries decided to sell Einige Ama vessels out. Okay? Okay? And Amasi going carriers, I say, at decreasing. But so we have a few about who want to go at sea. And Abba Kodaman Jamasi Ferras because there are no vessels, they have just sold their vessels off. Right. Then another thing, another reason good why they don't take Ama seafarers from Europe. The, you, the Western seafarers became too expensive. They became too expensive. Okay? Aba so expensive in such a way that Abantu Babon, which no, no, no. So it means Imalis or Pelele cocaine Ama salaries of these seafarers. Then Basibea, Theta Gutibatate, these seafarers from the Western countries. Now, Kona Lapumfund, also it will tell you eight marks if it's two marks, it's going to be two marks. Also, it will tell you eight marks. So, yes, I will tell a question about Ama seafarers. Okay? Which countries provide seafarers? Major suppliers of seafarers, Sengi and Sarishi, those are the six countries. Two, reasons for not providing Ama seafarers by Europe now. Ama Western countries. I've just explained those four reasons. And then here, bang a tal bang a wabu si ban to gay. If nga si yon alena ikon alene. And then gena we exam room. Who has the ma reasons? Okay? I hope says one. All right. Then another thing. Or another question. Uh, another question. On a chola food. That is. How to promote Amasiferas? How Amasiferas can be promoted? I guess that's in Jengatila, South Africa. Okay? Basing echo exposed, the Kudu in Dabazani, Zale, Ilona Makeras, or Siko in Keras in Dabazim Kum. Cities are thanks to Indabaya Operation Paki, so which is Siguas, yeah, which is even now is very exposed. Nano would see when now the Department of Education to introduce this subject. Because now we have in old age. Abantuana as nani as a madlenas. You are going to pursue careers now from inige from Gumagula Madonna in the Bay Maritime. So how to promote Amasiferas? Good East South Africa and Jobaga, it's still new as South Africa. The above countries that I've just mentioned, or Filipino Poland, they are advanced now when it comes to EEE shipping, okay? They have full knowledge now. So not here as a country like in South Africa, not we need to be developed to have full information about EEE seafaring. So each and every country, finally, Zame, by all means, to promote ama seafarers. Ugu sabantu ba zubane interest babe na ba all people who are going to be at sea. Because maskulu manje ne ocean economy. The ocean economy is here to stay. And there is a lot of money at sea. Okay? There is a lot of money at sea. And yinga koge iya ngukula izontlobala inige this shipping industry. And we are going to need more seafarers. Because ama vessels as a local corner e kubega e tenwa e kuda. Right. So each and every country finally is a mege. Or to promote in the shipping industry. So by promoting the shipping industry, then they must also promote ama seafarers. Udbachole ama seafarers. Number one, how to promote them. One, they must offer favorable tax systems they must offer favorable tax systems okay meaning that ama ship owners they must receive ama tax concessions for registering ama vessels or ama ship in the country or employing ama local officers or ama ratings or ama training cadets okay so they must get favorable or they must apply favorable tax systems. By applying or giving AMA favorable tax systems, they are giving AMA concessions to the ship owners who have registered their vessels in the country. So if we're having AMA ship owners who have registered their vessels here in South Africa, because we do have AMA ports in South Africa, lots of ports and they are so busy. 
when you look at the port of Deben, it's so busy. So if we have AMA ship owners who have registered their vessels here in South Africa, they must get AMA tax concessions, is that here? Or which finally but chole in get AMA tax reductions, is that here? And Again, those ship owners, if they are employing, when I'm fund or so fund, he qualify, waba inige, waba officer, okay? Ma provide the food to get inige, e training, yama cadets, okay? Ngoba ba promoter is seafaring in South Africa, is that here? Then, okay? You are going to get inige, as a ship owner, you get a tax concession, is that here? You are trading yama cadets, okay? We are employing AMA officers from South Africa. I'm just giving you an example. We are employing AMA officers from South Africa, AMA ratings as a South Africa. You are registering your vessel here in South Africa. If you do that as a ship owner, okay, we are promoting a seafaring, and it. We say I promote a seafaring because you are going to get more people who are going to join your company. More people who are going to get a training as in a, as a market in your shipping company as a ship owner. Okay? Okay? That is the first system to promote a seafaring. Nitenige provide favorable tax systems. When you're providing favorable tax systems, it's where you are giving AMA tax concessions, okay, to AMA ship owners who have registered their vessels who the country here, okay, or we South African, begin example now. Again, as a ship owner, we are employing any AMA officers like South Africa, okay? We are employing AMA ratings a la a South Africa. We are providing e training to AMA cadets la a South Africa. And then in that way, you are going to get any e favorable or you are going to receive any e tax concession. Number two, that is cabotage. E cabotage is another system that is used to promote e seafaring in a country. How? By making sure that the vessel is registered in your country. Now, a vessel built in South Africa shipyard at Deben, okay? After a vessel is built and it's also registered again, La e South Africa. After a vessel is registered, La e South Africa, it pide, it transport a cargo, a cargo from South Africa to other countries, it export a cargo from South Africa to other countries using our own vessels, our vessels that are built and registered in our country. By so doing, we are promoting AMA seafarers. We are going to create AMA job opportunities for AMA seafarers. More people are going to have interest, okay? And then you are going to provide a training, as I've said earlier on, as a ship owner. You provide a training to these cadets. I hope I'm clear. And as Upendula Ine, Ama questions are, we are born with a nurse, is it? Moba are related to my questions. I am a little bit of a question. I am a little bit of a analysis. Then, I am a little bit of a Okay? Ungena we exam room she, we are was gathege gutige, how are you going to go about answering these questions? And we are understand wonge. Okay? Right. Amasiferas, they are like any other worker, okay? Ama workers in land, okay? Now, but they need to be protected. They need to be treated fairly. They need to work under favorable conditions. They need to be paid fairly, okay? Says one. Njoba Sisebenza lie in land. I need to not working or we need to work under favorable conditions, conducive conditions. Uguza sibe productive, finally sibe comfortable where we are, so that is a producer, is a seven sagas. And then again, finally si tole a good treatment, okay? A fair treatment. And we must work Reasonable hours. Sing as a bench, ama hours that are unreasonable. So what is happening here in land? 
also applies la pana et si guma siferas. Siferas nabo, they must be treated fairly. Okay? Ama benefits nabo, they are entitled to ama certain benefits like ini, like e annual leave. Okay? They must work flexible hours. They must have ama breaks. Okay? They must work under favorable conditions. They must be treated fairly. Okay? I hope I'm clear. All right. When we look at EEE registration of a vessel, I said a vessel must be registered in a country. If it's registered in a country to promote EC fairing in that particular country. If a vessel is registered in South Africa, then that vessel will fly a flag lagupi la South Africa. Okay? If a vessel is registered a Panama, a vessel will fly a flag la Panama. If a vessel is registered a Gupi, a, 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 a Hong Kong, is a fly a flag la Kong. And the Sikulumi legere, we are about the flagging out of a vessel. Must it get a flagging out of a vessel? It's whereby a vessel it's built in a particular country, but it's registered in another country because of, cer of certain reasons. Good. Why a vessel is flagged out? It's because of certain reasons. Is that here? And then that vessel is going to have a flag of convenience. And that vessel is an operator under the flag state control of that particular country. So, all countries, they're having their own flex state control. Our flex state control here in South Africa is SAMHSA. And all the vessels that are registered here in South Africa, they must operate according to INIGA, AMA rules and regulations stated, GUPI GU SAMHSA. And then I use SAMHSA NAYAGAITA TELEKANDA, those rules and regulations. AMA rules and regulations, they are stated by an, by an umbrella board or IMO, the International Maritime Organization. That Maritime International Organization, IONE FLUENZA show which all the state control, the flag state control, are operating in VELA A right now. Okay? Then, each and every country is in an flag state of control, okay? Or the flag of convenience, okay? Then, when they are appointing a massiferas in that particular country, they cannot just appoint a massiferas as they wish. They have to follow all the rules and regulations stated go as T C W ninety five of twenty ten. Okay. Amasiferas they are appointed according to Inige Ama rules and regulations stated by US T C W ninety five twenty ten. So this STCW ninety five twenty ten is applicable throughout the world. All the shipping industries, when they are appointing or apply or they are appointing or employing their seafarers, they have to comply with this STCW. Okay? What does this STCW entail? Or STCW, or deal about the curriculum or the syllabus that must be taught to AMA seafarers or AMA cadets. What must be taught? Upinda approve the AMA training academies or ego logoti, the operator according to him techoyabo, abai begin, and those laws they're also approved by the International Maritime Organization. STCW, Muyeno moderator the examinations, Muyeno set the examination papers, Muyeno photo award the AMA certificates. So all the seafarers, when you are appointing AMA seafarers or AMA cadets, they are coming for a training. Final ones to show what the AMA qualifications are, they comply with all the rules and regulations stated LAPAGU, STCW. 
I hope there's one so far. I hope I'm clear. Right. Then, also, I told you a question again. So, you have a question. What two months in joint and delay your foot also look who touch you for a lapis quamen sacco, Jama Max Sacco, just this quamma summa max up. By a booth with give the full name of the abbreviation of STCW. Then, finally, we are CGE. I full name yale abbreviation. I yon appella all abbreviations. Yes, my full names are corner. Moba, Uthala, Ubuzo, two months of Fanelunga by a gilabuba toshe. More challenge abbreviation. Make sure what you know the full name of that abbreviation because see you are doing a lot two months. We are getting a la panis quamin summer max age. Ubuzo so was with sitole low fifty max. Okay. Gopi. Good maritime world. So the full name of STCW is Standards for Training and Certification of Watch Keepers. Standards for Training and Certification of Watch Keepers. Okay? Also, to lila go to Maxwa confund. We are at a look here at Angela go to Maxwa. Then, See, back because I was talking about the employment, the treatment of Amasi Ferras. I said what is happening inland also happens La Panage at sea. Okay? Finally, let's start treating it right. Ama company is finally a show which all the seafarers are treated fail. Right. Okay? Right. Then a question every got the community to give AMA organizations that deals with the fair treatment of AMA employees of AMA seafarers. Okay? That deals with the fair treatment of AMA seafarers. Okay? Right. Then we have AMA organizations. Okay? The International Organization of IMO. Okay? Nguyena Oensa Shoguti, all these organizations are applicable in order to treat or to have in a fair treatment, yani, yama employees or yama seafarers. Okay? Right. The first one, that is the International Labor Organization. Then we're also having the International Transport Workers Federation. The International Transport Workers Federation, that is ITF. And then another one, that is the last one. That is the International Seafarers Welfare and Assistance Network. Then the last one, it's no TILAS International, addressing AMA working conditions and fair treatment of seafarers. Which AMA seafarers, they must be treated fairly in a workplace, in a, where, while they're on board, okay? So, when we look at the International Transport Federation, Kushkuti inyunya na ngashoju tinyunya na ya ni yama siferas etsi. Ipere lama siferas, kuchama siferas, apate gati ina sebenza gati na. They check with their paid fairly, okay? They are concerned about low wages. They are concerned about poor working conditions, that is, the ITF, the International Transport Federation. It's concerned about low wages paid to amasiferas, concerned about poor, on, uh, poor working conditions on board, concerned about inadequate food, okay? Concerned about long working hours, concerned about unsafe vessels, some vessels that are not monitored, that are not checked now and again, that are not maintained now and again, okay? And then also concerned about amasiferas that are being blacklisted if they voice out their dissatisfaction. 
Thank you so much. Niyatela kuti sambe si to go through a revision. Si pegege inige amanote si si funde ni si buelen beg si try and kuti sense shani si revise ama previous question papers. Konge ge kuzo sambe lagal. Thank you so much. All the best. Si ani bonga ngokfunda naat. Si ani mema ukuti nintame le footi naksaasa. Ningas chola lezi fundo ekasin le tu liga Facebook. Elite Go Digital SA Foundation na ku YouTube Elite Go Digital SA Foundation ziyatholakala na kukhozi FM njalo ngolwesine kusukela ngo9 kuya ku10 ebusuku ningasithola nango WhatsApp kwinamba yethu 80 068 